welcome to another part of our in-depth review of the new Space Marines Codex out today. As always, my name is Jay, and today I'm joined by Dubled. I think it's really cool how you always say Dubled at the beginning, and then Patrick at the end. Yeah, I know, right? And then I'm going to start throwing like another name, like Marcus. Okay. And this is Marcus saying. Um, so today, of course, we've already gone through, you know, two videos in depth, we've already gone through, you know, all these special rules, not all the, but the special rules for the armies, the war war traits, the 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 formations, yeah, technical objectives, uh, <sighs> relics, it's time to start on the basic, yeah. uh, detachment, and... Quantum. It's time to start on the, on the, the models themselves. Yeah. Now, Space Marines, now, everyone who knows about it, this is the biggest release of the year, because there's so many things, it's not in one army, it's so many sub-factions, yeah. and... The HQs are a perfect representation of that. Mm -hmm. I jokingly said to him, and the reason I got that on, I said there's probably like 17 HQs, and we counted them as actually 17 HQs. Yeah. So there's 17 different HQs. And sites. there would be 18 if Marius Delgar hadn't been switched to Lord. Yes. Exactly. And then they made Vanguard and Stern Guard elites. Yeah. Officially. So um, so we're gonna talk about them today. Now we're not going to go, we are gonna go into good detail, mm -hmm. but not extreme. Because if we went into extreme detail of 17 different guys. You'd be two like, hours later, you would be asleep, <clears throat> and we would be like, and that, my friends, is half of the elite, the HQ section. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start off, we're going to compare points cost, of course. Now, as you mentioned, Marty's Kalgar is now in a Lord of War. Yep, so he's not there anymore. He's not there anymore. Uh, like they did with the Bloody Hell Codex, they took some of the elite guys or um, some of the Adam guys and made them HQs. Made them HQs. Or really, yeah, the information so is slightly different. Yeah, but I agree. yeah, it's, it's interesting. They, they did that better than they did in the Blood Angels book mm -hmm. because there's a formation where you can take tech marines, yeah, there's a formation where you can take uh Sergeant Tillian and Captain Kronos. But with the Blood Angels book, they took those guys, put them in HQs, and said, Well, now you have to take. Maximum two HQs. Yeah, and you've got to choose between these twelve guys. Yeah, and this without any chances of getting them all, which you can do if you play your formations right. Yeah, I mean, I want to see an army with seventeen HQs. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> um, let's start talking. A third, more than a third. It's like a quarter. No, more than a third. A quarter, well, more than a third. Eleven out of seventeen of those are named the ones. Yeah, so I was going to say 17 out of all the choices in this codex. The majority of the pages for the codex is just HQ. It's like, look at that, that's one of HQ. Mm -hmm. This is still HQ, HQ. There we go. That's HQ. Yeah. That's crazy. So starting off with HQs, we're going to start off with Captain Securius. Or Securius, depending on how you pronounce it. He is the Ultimate Second Company uh, yeah. Captain. And he's 175 points. He went down by 10 points. He used to be 185. Besides that, no, not really much change. He had a couple of special rules. He's still weapon skill, uh, weapon skill 6, plus skill 5. Strength on is four, three wounds, initiative five, three attacks, initiative ten, two up save. Mm -hmm. um, he has a plasma pistol, frag grenades, crack grenades, iron halo. His war trade is rights of war. Yeah. So that means that he. What's rights of war? We just did that, but. Special rules, station, low fear, chapter tactics, all warnings, feel no pain, furious charge, and independent character. Now, here's where it gets really fun with, with Captain Securius. Sicarius. Rights of war, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's all the, models get to use elite his leadership ten. Yeah. So he's leadership ten, and his war trait is whatever you bring in this army will have leadership ten. Yeah. And on top of that, during deployment, choose one friendly ultramarine's tactical squad, which you have bring at least three. Yep. If uh, you do the forms. Yeah. It gains one of the special rules: counterattack, infiltrate, scout, or tank hunters. Mm -hmm. Cool stuff. Yeah. You know that's not bad. And then surprise attack: if Captain Securus is alive. On the battlefield, you gain plus one on your reserve rules. So you start him on the table, you get a two up on your reserve rules. Mm -hmm. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I like that. And then he also has a Tempest Blade, so strength user 83. Mm -hmm. Melee Coup de Gras, which instead of making all his attacks, he can make a single close combat attack with strength plus two, AP three, instant death. So that's a turn, that's like a uh, Tyranny Killer. Any Tyranny, you yeah. just like instant kill. You're dead. Well, anything that's not too upset. Tyranids. Mm. There's only one Eldar Tyranid army that has a two up. Eldars? Yeah, Eldar. Imperial Guard. Dow. Oh. Orcs. Yeah. Orcs. Very rarely. I guess some two up say it. I guess some have a. Uh, you know. yeah. 
Well, but yeah, it's pretty good. He's just so that's Captain Sicarius. He's a cool guy. He's Ultramarines. If you like Ultramarines, you're gonna love him. He's basically just as good as he always was. Um, and he's gonna have four decks because he has the plasma pistol. Yeah, he didn't have. He used to have a mantle. It was called Mantle of Caesarea. I forget what it was called, but he doesn't have that anymore. Hmm. So he doesn't have the mantle anymore. Maybe he doesn't matter. But he down went down downwards. Up next we have Chief Librarian Tigerius. Tigerius. Yep. And you want to go over stats? So he's a good. He's an interesting guy. Mm -hmm. So he's still with skill 5, but it's skill 4, strength defense 4, 3 wounds, initiative 4, 2 attacks, leadership 10, and 3 plus 8. Uh, he's also pretty ugly. Yeah, no, no, almost not that great. Yeah. Uh, Bulk of Dragon Rain, Fragment Rain. Uh, his order trait is Storm of Fire, so he's the one who makes you remedy. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, special initial move here, chapter tactics, ultramarines, of course. Uh, independent character, and he's still a Tiger Mastery level 3, of course. Uh, he's got a special Master of Precise. Uh, when he generates his Psychic Power, he can re-roll any dice, mm -hmm. any roll of the dice to see which power he knows. So, if you really want to get some powers you didn't get with your rolls, re-roll them. Yeah. In addition, if... Uh, <laughs> if Tigerius is included in your army, you can reroll failed reserve rolls. So already him plus Sicarius equals a two up rerollable to yeah. turn two. That's or one, 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 depending on if you bring. He has a formation as well that you can bring things turn one. Yep. So you can roll on biomancy, divination, demonology, pyromancy, telekinesis, teleke te telekinesis, and telepathy. Yeah. And he's 165 points, so he hasn't changed in points cost. He's very similar to the old one. Mm -hmm. uh, and he has a, uh, a hood of Hellfire, which is a second hood. Yep. And he can reroll all failed psychic tests. And we're going to tell you why this is really awesome later on yeah. with the formation. Oh, yeah. Do yeah. you want to cover it like right now? Uh, we'll go after the librarians and okay. stuff. Okay. Like, we'll do it at the end of the uh -huh. um, at the end of each section. We'll do it after the formation. Yeah. So he has also as a weapon the Rod of Tigerius, mm -hmm. which is a four staff. Yep. With master crafted and soul blade. Yep, melee concussive force. Mastercraft. Standard force death yeah. with Master Crafted. Yep, soul base. Good stuff, so he's a great guy. If you liked him yeah. before, again, you're gonna love him now. Up next, Captain Cassius. I call him the Terminator because he has half his face and he's always like the skull underneath. So, mm. you know, it's cool. Yeah. Uh, Cassius is basically the same as the exact. There's some H, a lot of the HQs that were going over in this section didn't change at all or very, very yeah. minimal tweaks. And he, I think he's kind of one of them. Um, 103 points, same as before. Mm -hmm. Weapon five, plus four, strength four, toughness four, sorry, toughness six. Uh, two wounds. Initiative four, two attacks, leadership ten, three of save. He has the Crozius Arcanum, Fragrantius, Crackings, Rosarius. His world trace, Angel of Death. So he makes you make fear tests yeah. on 3d6. Uh, chapter X, Ultramarine, Skill of Pain, Inventive Character, Preferred Enemy Against Tyrannids. Makes sense. Mm. He needs it, and sell it. So he's great. Uh, he was not a frequently used HQ. Mm. Actually, he wasn't an HQ. Was he an upgrade? Uh, no, he was an HQ. He was an HQ yeah. in the previous codex. Yeah, some of these are upgrades. Tilion, the next one, is was one of the upgrades. Oh, yeah. Um, and um, he's got uh, his special... Mm. In fact, he's got a bolt pistol that doubles as a flamer. Yeah. Uh, he can either shoot bolter rounds which are Hellfire, so they're 24 inch range, strength 1, AP4, AP5, mm -hmm. Fire, Mastercraft, and Poison 2 plus, which is nice. Or you can fire a template as a one use on. So regular fire, it's a gummy flavor in all regards. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's a gummy flavor that can shoot at third rounds. Yeah. So he has one of the three types of Fen guard, uh, Stern Guard veterans ammo in his bullpen, and he can be fan. Okay. Against Tyrannids. Oh, sorry, you're talking about Cassius, yes. Yeah, Cassius. Yeah. Cassius, yeah. So yeah, against against Nids. Yeah. He's got a flamer before charging. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. Yep. And Field of Bane. Field of Bane. Yeah, Field of Bane's great. Yeah. And, you know, he's he's gonna to probably survive. He doesn't have a trouble order. Did he used to have it? No. You didn't have a field of Uh, no, he's, he still had field of so he didn't have a trial order before. Oh, okay. 
His, same exact stats as he did before. Same uh, same rules. Hmm. Nice one. Yeah. Up next, we have Sergeant Tilion. Sergeant Tilion was one of the upgrades that we caught. That it was he was an upgrade to the Scout Army. You could upgrade the Sergeant to Tilion for fifty points. Now he's just fifty points as an HQ, and he can only join uh, squads. A, yeah. A, um, a squad of scouts. Tenth company task force. Yeah. Um, he is bolt pistol, prayer grenades, crack grenades, camo cloak, uh, weapon skill five, weapon skill six, strength up is four, two wounds is should four, two attacks is should nine, four up save, and if he doesn't move, he can actually, if he, doesn't, if he decides not to shoot, he can actually um, give his weapon skill, or ballistic skill, sorry, to one of the members of the squad. Hmm. It's kind of cool. Um, he can, all shots made by him are snap, are precision shots other than snap fires. Which and uh, special rules are additional no fear, capture tactics, ultramarines, and better character, infiltrate, with recover, scout, stealth, storm of fire is a warlord trait, mm -hmm. makes sense. And this well, chapter relic is the quietus, mm -hmm. which uh, 36 in range, it's a sniper rifle. So 30, what's two shots? AP5, heavy two sniper. Yeah. Two shots. Two shot snipers yeah. that can get precision shots. Yeah. That's nice. Not bad, you know. So good, so there. And then up next we have Sergeant Cronus, which I believe is also one of the upgrades. Yep, he's he, was a, he was a tank upgrade, yep. now he's an HU, but yep. like we said at the start of the video, uh, now those guys have a meaning because they can be taken into one of the formations. You mm -hmm. don't just take him because you have to take a, uh, an HQ choice. You take him because he goes with other things. Yes. Yeah, and um, he's cool. Same, he's uh, still 50 points. Yep. Uh, weapon still 4, but still 5, strength comes 4, 2 wounds, initial 4, 2 attacks, initial 9, 3 up safe. Uh, bolt pistol, frag range, crack range, circle arm, you're not going to use it. He's in the tank. Yeah, he's in the tank, so having a servo arm makes him repair the tank? I think so, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and he says, when adding certain Cronus to your army, you must also take a single round, razor back, Predator, Whirlwind, Vindicator, Hunter, Stalker, Land Raider, Land Raider, Crusader, or Land Raider, Redeemer. I would love to have said it to Anne, because then Anne would have all of them. That would have been kind of funny. <laughs> uh, or, yeah. he's, he's in paying the points cost listed for the vehicle's data sheet, as well as 50 points for Sergeant Cronus, because he's in the vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, the chosen vehicle in, a, in is a character, it has a political 5. In addition, it, has, it will not die, and ignores the effects of crew shaking and crew stuff. If the tank is wrecked or suffers an explosive result, Sergeant Cronus is treated as a passenger. Note that if the vehicle does not have exit points, he will have to perform emergency disembarking. Assuming Sergeant Cronus survives his vehicle's destruction, he uses his own characteristic profile and special rules as normal from that point on. So he just gets out and walks away and you can keep using him. Yeah. Although... He's only gonna have a bolt pistol. But he's a cool guy with bolt but... Uh, servo arms are like servo arms. I think they're eight, like powerful. Oh yeah, maybe. Let's see. Isn't that what the? Um, I think it's what the. Uh, uh, Timberlands. Timberlands out. Mm -hmm. Let's just check to make sure. Servo arm. Yep. Yeah. Strength times two, so he's gonna be strength eight if he gets into close combat. Yep. Yeah. Maybe two. Yeah. Although it's unwieldy, so he's gonna strike initiative one. Mm -hmm. So his chances of survival are slim because he's gonna be alone. He's just a character, so he can't join the other one. Uh, no. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Just a character. Oh. Yeah. He can jump in another squad. Yeah. If there's one nearby. Yeah, there's one nearby. <laughs> if there's one nearby. Yeah. 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 Well, if he was, say. If you chose a land runner that had some dudes inside, mm -hmm. you could join that squad if the land runner gets popped up. I guess so. Yeah. Hmm. I would have you officially join the next And if, it's all right. if he yeah. survives. Yeah. Which he will, most likely will. It doesn't, you know, yeah, it's two guns. Guns. You know, I don't think he would instant die. Mm -hmm. Unless he could like, throw him, that'd be kind of cool. Ooh. Up next we have Cor uh, Corsero Khan. Now, this is the White Scars HQ. Now, as I said, White Scars are going to have a problem with this, this army because you can't take a just a generic amount of bikes. Mm -hmm. But um, Khan is, is the same old Khan, 125 points, hasn't changed the cost. Uh, same stat line as the other guys, one still six, one still five, strength up is four. He's a captain. He's a captain. Three wounds, and should have five, three attacks, we should have ten, three up safe. Four up uh, in ball. Sorry? Four up in ball. Four up in ball. With the arrow. The yeah, arrow. Yeah. 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 Uh, he's a, he's a world trace champion of humanity. Mm -hmm. Which gives 
the okay reroll uh, morale and yeah. healing and fear. Put in um, and special rules vision on fear chapter has white scars. Fear is charged in a character. Now master of the hunt. Now this is where he used to be hilarious, but this mm -hmm. is also a good. It's changed slightly. Master of the hunt. If he's your warlord, friendly white scar models that have the bike unit type or are embarked in, on a rhino or razorback have scout. Which we should talk about in formation later. Uh, there's a formation that you basically give free razorbacks and rhinos and you give them scout for free. In addition, if Crucero Khan slays the enemy warlord challenge, you immediately gain D3 extra victory points. Which is nice. And you give Moon Draken. Moon Draken is the Space Marine bike that makes D3 Hammer Wrath attacks at one. Cool. And he also says Moon Fang, which is an AP3 uh, close combat weapon. It has Harry's Bane when attacking with his weapon. A uh, special rule, uh, a twin roll of six causes a wound regardless of the marked target's toughness. This wound is resolved with the instant death. So not bad. So he killed like a Wraith Knight. Yep. If he survives. Because the Wraith Knight is going to hit first. Yes. No, it's in that. What? Initial five. But aren't Great Knights? Initial five. Oh. Is that what we said? No. Hmm. It's okay. Huh. I figured. So good stuff. Again, he's going to be a fun HQ. Now, the thing is, this new codex, the key is type, is all other types of troops, right? It's not just bikes. You can't. So he benefits not only bikes. Yeah. But, uh, but and their chapter yeah. decks obviously give them, you know, <clears throat> skill rider. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll, we'll talk about this with the formations. So there's something to be done with that guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can make white scars viable even without the Bites them. Yeah. Yeah. And then up uh, next we have Vulcan Heston. Oh yeah. Uh, same Vulcan oh, Heston as before. The Forge Father. 190 points. Same as it was before. Same talent as the other guy. Mm -hmm. One skill six, plus skill five. Strength on this four. Three wounds, initial five. Three attacks, initial ten, two up save. Uh, Although, what I find weird mm -hmm. is that guy was a primer and he has Captain's stats. Yeah. I don't know. It's <laughs> I don't agree. Uh, his bolt pistol, Predator grenades, crack grenades. Oh. His warlord drives iron resolve. Which was the what was that one? Feel the Oh, feel the Okay, so he has feel the But here he has feel the pain because he's a chapter tactic. No, he doesn't. Oh, now it's feel the pain. It's flamers. Now it's feel the pain. Good stuff. Nation of fear. Invented character. Chapter nine. Salamanders. He's the fourth father. The Vulcan astonishes your warlord. All melting guns, combi meltas, and melt multi meltas fired by models in his detachment have master crafted. That's pretty sweet. That basically guarantees that whatever is that your phone or not? No, oh, yours. That's weird. I don't know what's going on. Um, so basically, whatever melt is in his squad, like if you are playing against an Imperial Knight army, yeah. and that helps if you have combi meltas. Yes, because you only like at one yeah. time. <laughs> right, that increases your chances of of hitting, of hitting greatly. Because basically, it makes him twin linked. Yeah. Right, mastercraft and melta is twin linked. Mm -hmm. It should say twin linked rather than master craft. I guess if you have two shots. What other what melters would you have more than one shot? None. No. Because melt because the difference between master crafted and twin linked is twin linked rerolls all, master crafted rolls one. Yeah. But all Malta's gun only shot. Once. Hmm. hmm. I guess for the purposes of oh, maybe for the purposes of like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, it's weird. The Gauntlet of the Forge, none can endure both inspiring raids. The Gauntlet of the Forge is a heavy flamer that incorporates a set of additional weapons. So you can reroll to wound? Yep. Mm -hmm. And he also has a three up in mm -hmm. save. So he's a three up, a two up, three up save with Field Wayne. He's going to be pretty survival. He doesn't have Eternal Warrior though. So if anything gets through that, he dies. Yeah. Uh, Spear of Vulcan, strength plus two, 83, melee, mastercrafted, two handed. Yeah, it doesn't look too handy because it's clearly holding with one hand, but it's okay. Yeah, although there are two places to hold it. That's uh, true. It's a long weapon. Mm -hmm. So good stuff there. He's again, if you're a Salamander player, you're gonna be taking him regardless. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, next, we have Shadow. Sorry, Shadow Captain Strike. Mm -hmm. uh, and Strike is 180 points. Uh, he same again. This is a section where not a lot has changed between codices, and that's okay. But um, his warlord is Angel of Death as well. His uh, yeah. weapon is six, plus still five, strength on four, three wounds, initial five, three attacks, initial ten, three of save. Captain stats. He's a jump infantry, obviously. 
because he's Raven Guard. Mm -hmm. uh, additional fear, chapter has Raven Guard, any kind of character. And he has one, a role called C, but remain unseen. Mm -hmm. Strike has the stealth and infiltrate special rules. Before deploying, he may only join uh, units of jumping infantry. So you could infiltrate a squad of jump infantry, which puts them in. No, they can't assault though. They turn they they infiltrate. Which sucks. Unless they go second. Yeah, if they're going second, they probably yeah. It puts them closer to your enemy. It would be good. Well, at best, it puts you at twelve inch away from your pawn, which makes you then assault you. Yeah, but you're probably gonna put them eighteen away, so you won't get assaulted. Yeah. But are in good position exactly. to assault yourself. Exactly. You don't want to be mm -hmm. assaulted by your opponent. Yep. So if you go if you go second and don't mind going second, yeah. you could infiltrate. Otherwise, maybe deploy it normally. Yeah. Or just yeah, exactly. Uh, each it has two Raven talents, basically. The two each Raven talent can be used as melee weapon. With the Bomb Profile, Strength User, AP3, Melee, Mastercraft, and Rending Shred. Lightning Claws. Yeah, Lightning Claws. That's not Rending Claws. Mastercraft, Lightning Claws, exactly. So, good stuff there. Um, and they are not specialist people. No. Although, since he has a bear, it doesn't matter. No, exactly. He played like he has a bear. Yep. Uh, up next, we have Captain Lysander. The Hero Fist, obviously. Big guy in yellow. Nothing changed, changed with him. 230 points. Other than his, his icon. No, I think that one was... I don't remember if he had it before, but I think he had it as well. Okay. His World Trace Iron Resolve. Because he has new iron. His old Warlord trade was removed from the Codex. Oh, yeah. Uh, obviously, Web Skill 6, Web Skill 5, Strength Times 4, 4 wounds, Initiative 5, 3 attacks, Initiative 10 to Obsay, but he also has uh, Eternal Warrior. That's one of the big ones. Yeah. Uh, he's Eternal, basically, you know, he's, and they kind of got the. Um, it's weird. He used to be Strength 10, AB1, Shield of Dorm, but that's just Strength plus 6. Yeah. Same thing, obviously, but it's just a different way of writing it. You know, he's Strength plus 6, AB1. Uh, melee Mastercrafted, Specialist Weapon, Unwieldy, um, Concussive. Well, he used to be Strength 10. Yep. Yeah, people keep forgetting like, that. Is that the, the hammer was yeah. Strength 10? Oh, yeah. yeah, and he also has the icon of Obstinacy. That's who he is. Obstine. Weird. Uh, if, Obstine. If, if Lysander's a roller, all friendly Imperial Fists units within 12 inches of them reroll failed morale checks, pinning tests, and fear tests. Once again, fear. Again, for the scouts. For Imperial Fists? Mm -hmm. Do scouts have a nation locker? Yeah. They do. So why the fear tests? In this particular case, we don't know why the fear tests. Oh. It's okay. We can check just to be sure. Yeah. I believe they Otherwise, is there anything in this codex that could be not fearless? No, they have a nation locker fear. Yeah, no, that's okay. Up next, we have Mr. Crimson Fist himself. Just making sure, I guess. Yeah, just making sure. Putting it out there a thousand times so we know. Yeah. Um, we have Pedro Cantor. Mm -hmm. now, Pedro Cantor is still 185 points. Yep. What do you think about him? Uh, <laughs> hard to say. It's same stat line. Yeah. Basic captain stats. Uh, two of save. Two of save. Yeah. He's got herbal threat. Mm -hmm. He's herbal got herbal threat. threat. Yeah. So I believe it's the first one that's got it. He's the only one, I think. Yeah. Um, he has whole line. Pedro Cantor, so we're talking about Pedro Cantor. Yeah, so Pedro Cantor is the the first HQ choice that has the orbital strike. Yeah. And so far. He also gives objective security. Uh-huh. Uh, Stringer to Stringer veterans as part of his detachment. That's pretty nasty. Stringer vets with objective security. Mm -hmm. Especially with that one uh, formation. And the one formation and the one uh, the one card where if you steal your opponent's objective. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, I also has preferred, and obviously all, mo all models in Cantor's attachment have preferred enemy orcs, mm. and they add one to their attacks if within 12 inches of Pedro Cantor. Mm. That's not bad. His relic, Dorn's Arrow, 24 drain, strength 4, top 8 before, soul 4. 13, nice. Yeah, nice. Bunch of shots, <laughs> killing some orcs. He hates orcs. Yeah. No, really? Now we're the Black Templars. Mm -hmm. Hi, Marshal. Helbrecht. 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 Yeah, keep track. Yeah. Uh, he's a Black Templar's High Marshal, and he's 180 points. He used to be 180 points, and I think he's still the same. Did he change any points? No, he used to be 180. Yeah, he just hasn't changed any points. Same stat line. 
One of the exploits is five, strength is four, four wounds, and should five, four attacks, and should ten, two of save. Mm -hmm. uh, Cubby Melta, his spray grenades, crack grenades, iron halo, so four from vulnerable save. His warlord trade is the Imperium's sword. Uh, special rules, vision, low fear, trap protectors by Templars, independent character. And he has Crusade of Wrath. Once per game, the beginning of your soul phase, I care can grant all friendly Black Templar unit models the hatred and fleet special rules until the end of the phase. Not bad. Yep. He's got a sword, uh, strength, user, AP3, melee, legacy of Dorn, master crafted, and legacy of Dorn means he gets uh, D3 bonus attacks on the charge. Hmm. So the one. Pretty similar to what he was. Yeah. You just won't get those if you have defensive grenades. No. But in most cases, maybe yeah, in most cases, maybe you want or two more attacks. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Up next we have the standard Emperor's Champion. Mm -hmm. So once again, like Templar dudes, um, yeah. Emperor's Champion, he is still 140 points. Weapon still six, plus still four. Strength on his four. Two wounds and should five. Two attacks and should ten. Two up save. Mm -hmm. uh, he has bolt, pistol, crack grenades, spray grenades. Uh, fearless and that character, chapter tactics, black templars. Mm -hmm. Honor or death, he has to challenge or accept challenges. Challenges mm -hmm. makes sense. Uh, Slayer champions, when fighting a challenge, Ember's champion re rolls fail to hit rolls, and any to wound rolls of six are instant death. Mm -hmm. Good. He's gonna slay some champions with him. That's good. Yeah. Uh, he has a four pin vulnerable save and a two up armor save from his armor of faith. Mm -hmm. and so does he have like two two ups? Yes. Because he has a you know, or his two up list of the year is the one. It's from the armor. He is now warrior. Yeah, he doesn't have the armor as warrior currently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, black sword strength is two, AP two, melee master crafted. So good. And since he's got, well, he's got two attacks, trail of charge. So. Yeah. Yeah. Master crafted. Master crafted. Two attacks. Yeah. Good chance yeah, three in the chart. No, not bad. Mm -hmm. Not bad at all. Up next we have Chaplain Grimaldus. Now Grimaldus used to be 185 points. Ooh. So it's 135 points. This is by far the biggest drop, or one of the only drops in this Codex HQ uh, section. Mm -hmm. And uh, you get Grimaldus. Now Grimaldus is uh, weapon skill five, ballistic skill four, strength toughness four, three wounds, initiative four, three attacks, initiative ten, three up save, and he has his servitors. Uh, his servitors are different than this one, I believe. Mm, maybe right. Yeah. Um, basically, his servitors, and you can put up to five of them for 15 points each. Mm. Uh, they give feel no pain to any unit within six inches of them. That's nice. Yeah. That's pretty nice. He's a black Templar, but he's a high chaplain. That's pretty cool. And he also has a nice zeal friendly black Templar units within six inches of Chaplain Coronel's Hamzella. So, but if you're within six inches of his little dudes, they get feel no pain. It's kind of like the Blood Angels, like how they used to the run old, the old Narcissus. Yeah. yeah. Because now it's just you stay near them, you calm the line, and all your units can't feel no pain. Hmm. That's cool. So, yeah. Blood Angels with allies with that guy. Well, no, it's all friendly Black Templar most units. Mm. Sorry. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Up next, we have the standard captain. Now, the captain is usually, I would, I, it's the one that I'd expect to be first in the codex. Usually, it's the generic one that always opens the codex. Yeah. But not here. Uh, nope. 90 points. Mm -hmm. Same as it was before. Yep. Uh, he's a captain. Same stat line as the captains. And you get an upgrade to a chapter master for 40 points. You get one attack and overtold strike. Yeah. An extra attack. You get, and, uh, and also, that gives him access to. No, I don't think you can get the same access to it. I thought it was opening up Warrior as well, but I think it's just the same. And yeah, he's Orbital Strike, yep. and uh, Chapter X, whatever one he chooses. That's it. He's a standard guy, he's a great HQ if you want your cheap HQs that you can customize. The Captain is your choice. Yep. And. Yeah, or the Chapter Master if you want to get Orbital Strike. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which. It's fun. Yeah, it's a one use only, but it's always fun. Mm -hmm. You just blow up a chunk of your opponent, hopefully it lands where you want. And... Great yeah, it's well, you have fun. Yeah, exactly. And then the next, the librarians. Librarian is 65 points, same as it was before. Yeah, it's a standard librarian. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the great thing with the librarians is now they're a squad of librarians and formations, and we're going to go over that one in a few minutes. It's pretty fun and nasty. We're going to talk about that. Yep. Um, but librarians are good. They get psychic powers, biomancy, demonology, divination, pyromancy, telekinesis, or telepathy. Can upgrade to level two for 25 points. Might be worth it, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, it's Depends. only 90 points for a guy well, that it. has at least two powers, maybe yeah. three, if you take, if you take in the, the same discipline, yeah. you get a primary for free. I agree. Warrior, bolt pistol, force weapon, frag grenades, crack grenades, psychic hood, social rules, addition, remove fear, chapter tactics, independent character, psycho. So good stuff. And then this is part of the formation of psychers, and they're fun. We're going to go over them in a few minutes mm -hmm. because we're finally. No, we're not there yet. I was going to say we're at the finally last we're going one. Through. Now we're at one that didn't use it to count in, yeah. the, in the HQ slot. Take room. Take room. 65 points. Used to be 50. Yeah, so we're not going to cost, but got significantly better. Oh, yeah. 15 point upgrade, mm -hmm. but now he is weapon skill 4, ballistic skill 5, strength times 4, 2 wounds. I think he only used to have 1. Oh, that's possible. Initiative 4, 2 attacks, leadership 9. So I think his attacks went up, his wounds went up, and his ballistic skill went up. Let's just compare. Keep the angel. Yeah. Oh, I have one right here. Tittery. Yeah. His list went up one, his attacks went up one, and his wounds went up one. So for 15 points extra, not bad. Yeah, so Blood Angels, uh, the guy is still 50. Yep, and he's the old but, seven. Uh, yeah, he's still seven. So yeah. just Ballistic 4 and one attack and one wound. Yeah, so mm -hmm. he uh, has a bolt pistol, power axe, frag grenades, crack grenades, servo arm. Servo arms are basically power fists. Strength times 2, 82. Uh, special rules, additional fear, chapter tags, whatever you want, independent character, blessing on the Messiah. Mm -hmm. And if you take the formation, it gives him a no, one of them, what gives a plus one bonus to the, yeah. Yeah, to the blessing of the Messiah. Good stuff. And finally, the chaplain people. Oh, yeah. The underrated HQ. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the chaplains. Of course, now I'm going to take a chap. I think a lot of people will be taking chaplains or, or captains only to take that second, you know. Perhaps it's to take the second formation. Yeah. Um, well, you have to take either one. We can replace them both with other guys. If you yeah. Want. But if you want a cheap one to take two of them, I think. Mm -hmm. Or you can take one of the command formations to get one more. Yeah. So Chaplain is 90 points. Uh, I think he's used to be 90 So points. legally, you can get up to five HQs. Yeah. Because you can take three. Uh, no, even more than that. Mm. Well, yeah. of captains or chaplains, because you can take three formations that get lets you get one more, and with two two demi companies for mm. your core, you get one in each. So that's two plus three is five. But then if you take the library's conclave, you can go up to five for each. Mm -hmm. So it could be seventeen HQs totally legal. There you go. Yeah, or nuts. Yeah. Uh, chaplains have <laughs> bolt pistols, crows is our cannon, mm -hmm. uh, fragments, fragments, yeah, areas, chapter tactics, independent character, zealot, and that's basically it. There, this is a cheap HQ. Mm. Ninety yeah. points, like a captain, just a little less uh, options. Yes, because he has zealot. So yeah. So now that we've covered all the HQs, mm -hmm. we've gone through them, people. We're now going to go through a couple things. Let's go over a couple of the um, formations. Now, the ones that we really want to discuss are the Reclusive Command Squad, because that is a chaplain and a command squad, mm -hmm. right? And it's a, for this formation, the restrictions are the command squad must, be take, must take a razor back. As a dedicated transport, the chaplain must join the command squad during deployment and cannot leave it. Train HQs. Okay. So it's a six man six man squad. Yep. In the Razorback. And their special rules they Crusader. Mm -hmm. And stirring rhetoric. All friendly units of Space Marine faction within six inches of the chaplain from this formation. Reroll failed to hit rolls during the first round of each close combat. So it's not just the the chaplain squad yeah. that does. So you stick this formation in the middle of the fighting yeah. and you go, just go assaulting all the right. Exactly. And then the other formation I want to talk about right now 
is the librarian, <laughs> the librarius conclave. conclave. Now this is a solely lined up of HQs, so I want to talk about it now in this, in this video. It's um, the formation is three to five librarians, but any one of them can be replaced with uh, Tigers. Mm -hmm. And um, the restrictions are none. Now this is where it gets really fun, oh, yeah. is that they have a rule called empiric channel. So at the start of each second phase, you can nominate one librarian from this formation. If you do this, the nominee librarian has access to any psychic power known by the other librarians, i.e., Tate Tigerius making your library. Or even just a little dude to take the, in case of perils randomly, you just blow his head off. Um, the other librarians in this formation, with, formation within 12 inches, sorry. Uh, Every librarian yeah. that's within 12 inches of the one you nominated yeah. can't cast any powers. No. But You've got one that can cast all the powers yeah. of every other librarian. So, so you could cast two times the same power because you're casting the one from another guy. What I'm thinking of is this is a great conga line mm -hmm. because you can conga in your guys and you put the cheap guy up front or one of the loser librarians mm -hmm. and let him cast the psychic powers and be in close range and keep the other ones farther back. So if your opponent tries to shoot back at you, he may not be able to kill you know Peters or something. Yeah. But uh, this is the fun part. Mm -hmm. Why it's even better. He will harness warp charge points on a result of three up, yeah. rather than a four up. If there is, yeah, well, if you're gonna do this, you use this rule, this special rule. That's because there's at least one other librarian within twelve inches. Yeah. So if there's only one, you harness warp charges on three pluses. But if, but there's, if there's two, two or more, you on you harness them on two pluses. So so if you take Tigurius. With four to do. Oh, that's why Tigurus. That's why I was thinking Tigurus would be yeah. a good one to do. So Tigurus with four to do. That's 165 plus four times 90 because yeah. you get that massive double. So already you're looking at 525 points with this psychic death star. Yeah. So you have 11 warp charges. Just those guys. Yeah. You have Tigurus who can choose pr pretty much choose his powers because he can reroll those he doesn't want. You put them all within 12 inches of each other, well, all within 12 inches of Tigurius, then Tigurius casts all the powers on two pluses. My question though is... And you can re-roll if you fail. Yeah, my question though is, can he warp charge points? If he's only warp charge three, can he only cast three, three spells? Doesn't matter. As long as you have warp charges, you can cast. Yeah, just the number of spells, set of powers he knows. I guess he knows all of them, that's yeah. true. So yeah, in that case, because that's so say he's rolling on Sanctic Demonology yeah. and gets Vortex of Doom. He can throw Vortex of Doom with three, three dice. He can accomplish it. He just yeah. three up, uh, two up, sorry. He fills the one he rolls. Mm -hmm. So he's pretty much guaranteed to get it off. Yeah. As will he get off every other psychic power mm -hmm. he wants. And you can come the line this for, is this not, they're not one squad. No. It's a formation. You can, of course, put them all in... You bury them in squads? Yeah, you bury them in, in, like, in a common squad mm -hmm. to get Philo Pain yep. with the Nartesium. So, because they're still all independent characters. It's yep. just that if they are within 12 inches of each other, which they will if they're in the same squad, mm -hmm. <laughs> you get this bonus. So, this could get uh, abusive really fast. Yeah, it could get really crazy. Uh -huh. With that many librarians casting. Also, the other fact that the picture has all the different versions of the librarians. Yep. Yeah. They're all kind of. Come on. Kind of, that's that's right. funny. Yeah, I, I love the fact that this is a really nasty formation because you can abuse it so bad with all your Because, like, <laughs> like I said, you take oh. two demi companies with either uh, a captain or a chaplain each, mm -hmm. and then. And then you can take three of these librarians conclaves with up to five librarians each. So you can have 17 HQs. Yeah. And just five guys, well, in fact, you can have three times five guys casting powers like crazy. Mm hmm So that'd be, that would be 31 warp charge per turn. If you take that like, gear that's 15 guys, with two master each? level 2. But master level 2 each though, that would be a bit expensive. Because that alone would be 1,350 points. 
Do you really care? But the the minimum squad of size that we oh, yeah. you know, we couldn't get it for five hundred points. I think you'd have to do well, some more ones. Yeah, uh, maybe. But still, and you would take Erson and as I said, two years in there. Yeah, probably. Or would you take min squad? You probably end up with like twenty three or four more charges. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, and then just cast powers and have fun. Your opponents will hate you, but it'll be oh fun. yeah, um, oh yeah, and just go for the go for broke. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'd be pretty just. Fun. Like Google's friends. It would be hilarious. So that's it. That yeah. is the HQ section in a nutshell, people. This was an epic battle of us versus the HQ section. The next video is going to cover the troops, so it will not be that long. That long. And it'll be fun. So it's okay. So thank you as always for watching this video. Uh, I hope you didn't get bored, but I think it was a lot of fun covering the HQs. We covered them in good detail. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Leave a comment in the comment section down below what you think. Do you agree with everything? Do you disagree with it? Did we miss something? Do you I think it's gonna be hilarious. Do so you have some other crazy ideas we might have missed? Oh probably. Oh yeah. Yeah. And uh yeah, stay tuned. Until next time, this is Jay and Patrick saying happy painting with Marcus. <laughs>